There are three main areas of the user client interface. We've got the ribbon toolbar here along the top, and you can access your menu items from here. You can also right click, use function keys and control keys to get access to some of those menu items as well. The second area of the interface is here along the left, and this is called the project tree. Now every device or document that you want to manage within VersionDog is organized into their own component. The project tree organizes all these components into folders and subfolders that are defined by you to best represent your production environment. You can see in our example organization that we have a plant 1 and a plant 2. Plant 1 is broken down into hall 1, areas 1 through 3, and then eventually we get to our components that are located in that area. Now we could just as easily have named these folders things like East Building, West Building, Conveyor X, Boiler X, or any other sort of naming convention. Now you will notice that some items in the project tree are grayed out and some are not. Items in gray are those available to you on the server but have not been checked out to your local machine. Once checked out, they won't be gray anymore. If you only want to see your checked out items, you can click on this button here to toggle between the two. To find components, you can walk down through the tree like I was doing, or you can do searches from this section here. So, what is a component? Basically, a component is a container that holds the project, files, or documents you're maintaining version changes for. For example, let's say you have 100 PLCs in your facility. Each of those would be its own component, so you would have 100 PLC components in your tree. You see here that we have one S7 component representing one PLC, and inside that component sits the project. Another example, we have an RSLogix 500 component, and inside that one, we also have a project. Now for pricing and licensing, we don't care how many files, folders, or how big that project is, we only look at this as one component and this as one component. Maybe you have 100 robots in your facility. Thus, you would have 100 additional components, one for each robot. Here's an example here. Here's an ABB robot. There's one component, and inside that component sits the project. Here's a KUKA, and the project sits inside that component. Now, we can also do HMI and SCADA systems. Maybe you have some GEI fix. Maybe you have Factory Talk View, Siemens TIA. WinCC, or Wonderware. Again, you have the component, and inside that component sits the project. If you want to manage a workstation, data collector, or other IoT type device that has a Windows or a Linux type file structure, you can do that in Version Dog as well. Let's go up here and take a look at an example of that one. If you take a look at this device one, you will see that that component is managing a couple of folders with files in them and a separate file here. Again, we don't care how many files and folders are in this component. This is being managed as one component. You can also manage changes to your documents. Now, we don't have PLCs or robots at Avizi, but we do use VersionDoc internally for document management. Here's some examples here. We have a fact sheet folder, and inside that folder is some document components. Inside the tutorials, same thing. Now these are PDFs in this example, but we can also manage documents in Word, Excel, XML, or ASCII type formats. This allows us to version and track the history of changes made to our documents. Thus, you can see that VersionDog can version control all sorts of devices and documents beyond your typical PLC. Now let's take a look at the third area of our interface. And that's here on the right. This is called the component list or component details view. If we look at the component list, we can quickly see things like if the item has been checked out or not, the name of the component, what type of component it is, any type of tag-based information we want to use for grouping, the lock state, what version is checked out versus what version is sitting on the server. We can sort, filter, rearrange these columns. We can add a bunch of additional columns to best suit our needs. You can see here that we have a lot of graphical and color representation within VersionDog. Graphics to show you if items are checked in or out, to show you uh, what component type it is, we've got padlocks, traffic cones, equals, and then not equals. 
The graphical representation helps you quickly see the state of things without having to spend a lot of time reading stuff to get that information. This allows you to quickly navigate the system to find the information you need without adding additional complexity to your workday. Now, if you want to see the details of a specific component, you can select it from the project tree on the left, or we can double click on the unit here on the right, on the component. Let's take a look at the S7 component here. If we double click, it'll pull up the details for that component. So each component will have a change history tab. And the change history tab starts giving you some of the details about your version history. You'll notice that for this Siemens device, we have seven different versions so far. We can see information about when the version was created, who created it, notes and comments about the changes made. In the lower section here, we can see a list of items that were changed to create the version that I have selected above. We can sort, search, filter, rearrange, add and remove columns to better suit our use here as well. You can see how the component details here start to show us some of the who, the what, the where, when and why regarding our code changes, as well as a history of all that information. If you would like to print or export to PDF a report on the overall change history, we can do that from the menu bar up here at the top. Again, for pricing and licensing, it doesn't matter how many versions you want to keep in this component. You could have hundreds in here. We only look at this as one component being managed in version dog. From this tab, we could also select two different versions and do a smart compare. A smart compare allows us to see code changes between different versions visually. This isn't only ASCII differences, but can also be graphical differences like your ladder logic, function blocks, or even things like PDF CAD documents. Now we have a separate video demonstrating our smart compares. Please see that video to learn more. Every component also has the jobs tab. You will see that this S7 component has one job set up that runs at 1 a.m. every morning. The results of the backup jobs will show up here in the lower section. Now setting up a job is done in the admin client, but you can see the results of jobs and start jobs from this section here. So one of the other items regarding licensing and pricing is based on the number of jobs that you want to schedule within VersionDog. You will see here that we have one job scheduled and so far it has run five times. To us, we only count the scheduled jobs and not how many backups have been performed. You could have hundreds of backup results, but to us, for pricing and licensing, this is only looked up as one scheduled backup job. Now there are numerous other things you can do within the user client, but this short video has covered some of the more common elements for you.